one of the reasons why I like dive really deep into powerlifting is I feel like it's like the most basic, most relatable, easy to get into way to build strength, not just like literally in the body, but in your mind and in life, right? I think like when you train your body and you're able to improve incrementally, ride the ups and downs and build a strong body, what you're really building is a strong mind. And when you can build a strong mind, you can then ride the ups and downs of life and be successful in life. And that's why like, I love powerlifting because it's literally has so many parallels. There's injuries, setbacks, the equipment, the circumstances. Sometimes none of those things are ideal at all. But do you just show up and go, nah, I'm not gonna lift today? No, like you still power through it just like the way life is. So to me, that's why powerlifting is so freaking amazing. It's something that you still see people that are 70 years old, hit a PR, like one of my, one of my first meets, I saw a 70 year old squat 405 and I was like, oh shit. This is freaking crazy, you know? Like, you can set PRs, you, there's no, never too young to start, never too old, doesn't matter your gender, your size, everyone needs to build strength, and that's why I love powerlifting. Ooh, why do I have two powerlifting? Ooh. It's the one sport where, as much as I put in, I get out. So the more work I put in myself, the more I can see progress, and especially, like, I'm a scientist, so I love the nitty gritty, like little details and little mechanics things. So the more I learned about it, the better my technique became, the bigger my numbers became. So that's what attracted me to it. Of course, there's a lot of other sports like it, but I feel like that's one where you can kind of choose to be your individual person working towards a goal, or you can be on a team too and push each other. So I love it. It's good for every aspect of life for me. Out of all the sports, why I picked powerlifting, I think when I was a kid, my favorite thing was community and I couldn't play football, I couldn't do wrestling, I got injured in both and my grades, but mainly because of injury. And we had a weight room, like right next to where all the football players played. And I would be in there all day, literally every single day after school until they got out of practice. And more people started having fun with that. Like I just remember even when I was in like football, like during the summer, the funnest part about training was the weight room. The camaraderie, the hype, and it was all very like direct. You saw results right away. You saw the results in the weights moving up. And it was just a fun place to hang out. And as I got older, like I only found that in the gym. It's like a community of people from all walks of life get together and have the same common goal of wanting to get better in the gym, but also trying to improve your own life. So that's why I really fell in love with like powerlifting and like lifting weights. Why did I pick to coach in powerlifting? It's an opportunity to work with human beings in my community um, teach them the teach them the things that I believe are very important through sport and through the sport of powerlifting you learn a lot about yourself you learn a lot about how to fail and that it's okay to fail and you have to troubleshoot and problem solve and find a way to overcome um, and if you have goals you have to work um, for those goals relentlessly um, in a smart way as well in a structured way um, and create the best plan possible uh, in order to find a way how to make those goals come true and um, you know I come from I come from a background of football I come from many backgrounds of, of martial arts um, growing up those were like my first sports and uh, those things taught mental toughness and I believe mental toughness is something that is extremely important for a human being's character and development, but also for someone to live life and understand that there's always going to be something going on, but what are you going to do to overcome that? And how are you going to maintain the highest quality of life? So powerlifting to me and why I am in powerlifting, it's greater than just lifting weights. It's greater than, um, you know, just, just, just calling numbers and and uh, you know, uh, having the fulfillment of you know, you know, uh, achieving a personal record or all-time best, right? Uh, and so that's that's why I would say I, I joined the sport. Yeah, that's why I say I, I'm in. I lift, and that's why I coach. Why did I choose powerlifting? So this kind of tracks back all the way to high school. I had surgery when I was um, growing up, and my small intestine, like I legitimately had to, they had to tear through my abdomen, and I was like really weak for like a week. So like I, I couldn't walk. I couldn't do anything on my own. And I was like really insecure about my strength, my looks, and I wanted to get stronger and bigger. And I literally, I was like that type of kid to like, look up bodybuilding.com workouts, how to get strong, how to get bigger. And it told me to squat, bench, and deadlift. So basically like, 
from then on, I, I fell in love with the movements itself. Um, stopped caring about how I looked and legitimately I just wanted to get stronger, stronger, stronger. And then I found out that powerlifting was a sport. And when I stepped on, my, on the platform for the first time, legitimately, I fell in love with the sport. Like I, I wanted to do more, it was like an addiction. And every time I trained, I like, had a fire, I had a burning desire to get better and better and better. So uh, I'm thankful for this opportunity to like be able to give it to people that are competing for the first time. Like this meet, like seeing new lips, like your brother, for example, like the best, the best example I could think of. Like he's having a great time so far. Like he has an, his entire community behind him. But um, yeah, that's kind of what I got into powerlifting. Talking about powerlifting, you know, I think the step into it or the door opening for me was for athletics. You start to research anything. I want to be a strength and conditioning coach. I first wanted to play basketball again. So I dropped out of college. I had to train myself to be faster, jump higher, more durable. I'm only 5'9", 5'10". Difficult to play at the Division One level or professional amateur level, which I played at a bit. You start to do research, some kind of hinge, some kind of squat, and some kind of press are often what pops up to get you stronger and ready for that world. You know, in combination with some plyos and sports specific stuff like actually playing the sport. When I decided not to go back to school and found real powerlifting, I, 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 I was thrown into the, the flames. You know, I, I dropped into the strongest gym on the planet at the time. And what kept me around wasn't necessarily the pursuit of strength, although I think that is what gets a lot of people addicted to the sport, constantly improving, seeing the PRs, the rep uh, PRs, the volume PRs, the strength and muscle over time. For me, it was kind of the community. And obviously that roots into why we built Third Street. I think that when you enjoy the process with like-minded individuals, your level of success and the rate of success and your chances to exceed what you thought is capable goes through the roof. And so the community itself, we can bicker all day long about federations and deadlift bar, no deadlift bar, and maybe some executives and business and politics in the sport. But when you dive into the root of the community, the people of powerlifting, um, it's a very, very special niche. Ladies and gentlemen, just a little insight. Why powerlifting? why it's in our veins, why we promote it, why we give back to the sport, whether it's energy, running meets, money, building the communities ourselves best we can, um, that's it. 3SB.co, grab your tee right now. Comfiest, most durable tee in the game. We over me, be a part of something bigger than yourself, man. Community and culture always. Salamite, I'm out.